Hey everyone, this is Vickerman, and today we're here with Groundbreakers, and this is a game that has been out on Early Access for quite some time, but they are now releasing uh, today, on the day this video goes live, which is June 15th, 2016, and it is a tactical game, sort of like your XCOMs and your Massive Chalice and stuff like that, uh, but it's uh, based with robots, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Reminds me a bit of uh, BattleBots, the, that show that used to be on when I was younger. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, $10 on Steam. Uh, but during the first week, they have a 25% discount. Uh, so this is from United Indie Studio, and they are from uh, Vietnam, Hanoi. Uh, and this is a sort of launch release candidate sent to the press. Um, so it's probably closer to the full release than what you'd get if you got the early access before you know it actually goes live probably noon um but that said things possibly could change between now and then uh so i am uh there is a campaign here but it's sort of leading me i did the tutorial and then it's sort of leading me to this infinity is it called Infinite? Yeah, Infinity Mine. Uh, and it wanted me to do the first one. And, and now it's saying, hey, you should go back and do some more. So I'm kind of following along with that just to make sure that uh, we have all the stuff that I need. So let's go ahead and play here. I'm selecting the three robots that I have because that's all the only options I have. Uh, so we've got malfunctioning robots are coming in. Uh, so this Infinity Mine mode uh, seems to be sort of like this, an elimination. You can see we've got squares, uh, and it is turn-based, so we've got... Uh, it's kind of a complicated system for figuring out um, who goes when, and it's related to the speed stat you can see on this uh, dual claw that I have a speed of 1.1 and then the yellow is basically any buffs and then that will give you sort of a, a final number uh, and there's all sorts of different stats and that kind of thing so we've got dual claw here and uh, this is Wingnull these two guys Wingnull and the I think it's just can Cannoneer are ranged, whereas Dual Claw is uh, melee. And then we have special skills down here. You start with the ability to take one skill. This is sort of an ultimate. Uh, if you are familiar with MOBAs, it's kind of that concept. And it only can activate once a certain number of turns have passed. Uh, now they do have time points. They kind of translate turns to time points. And I guess that's how they get around, like, the different value of turns for different speed characters. Uh, it's kind of complicated. I haven't really paid much attention to that, except to know, hey, I'm going to get more turns with higher speed. So we are going to be defending against waves in this mission. So I'll just kind of move over here. This guy's going to come at me. I don't want to go too far into it. Uh, so we have a movement phase and then a combat phase. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to end the turn there. This fella is ranged, so I'm going to put him up high. And skip move this. And now it shows me the range that he has. So pretty good range. What are his abilities? I just got this one. Uh, bombard. Bombard's a, a plus-shaped area. Uh, that's sort of like the... Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, fire spells and stuff like that would hit uh, one one square plus the four adjacent ones. Okay, so that would be useful for areas of it, clumped enemies. Uh, machine gun and shoots ten rounds each one doing random damage, so that's probably good against a single target. And then shoot a giant rocket in a straight line. If it hits an enemy, it will explode and deal damage to a small area. Okay, so that goes... Woom, 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 that sort of thing. Sort of like a, a rook in chess, if you think about it that way. And then it'll do an area damage. 
I'm not sure what the area will be. Let's we'll have, have to see. That isn't unlocked yet. Cannoneer is a little more, uh, well, probably a little more basic. It, it's just kind of a, a ranged unit. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet, though. If you get surrounded, you can jump uh, to another square and hit all the enemies around you. So if they surround this guy, you would think he would die immediately. But if you do happen to survive, uh, you can use that move. Very useful. Overdrop, overdrive will boost speed and give you an extra turn. So that's kind of nice for making sure you're hitting the enemy a bunch more than they are hitting you. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Yikes. Okay, well, he took quite a bit of damage there. The cannon did. Uh, and according to the turn... Yeah. They may have a chance to kill him next turn. So I'm going to take dual attack, a double attack for dual claw. You can also do a health stealing attack. But in this case, I want to try to kill this guy. All right. Oh, buddy. We are uh, getting pretty well attacked here. Uh, I think that should kill it. Pretty good, pretty good attack from that guy. All right, so. I think I'm gonna have you go here, and then here, and then we'll just uh, activate overdrive to give you a bit more uh, movement as well as speed. And that's not quite in range, unfortunately. I didn't did not quite do that correctly. Ah, there it goes. I don't know that they, normally in the missions, it seems that they respawn, but I believe that probably is not the case here. All right, that's two squares up, so I actually can't hit that guy, which is too bad. But we did get that uh, crafting part, which will be helpful. I'm unsure if you keep that even if you lose. All right, so those guys are sort of in a... Here, go ahead and learn it. Oh, it's out of range. But we can move. Well, that's probably not going to be good, because that... Will that hit my friend? Yeah. No? Okay, no friendly fire. Good to know. He went to go repair himself. Uh, I'm gonna try to work my way over to this guy because he's ranged so if we can close the distance that would be better all right this should work that's pretty good stuff Okay, go ahead and take that guy out. Alright, so now the ultimate abilities are in fact uh, available for us. Okay, I could grab this thing, but I kind of want to bork my way over here to try to get over there. Uh, yeah, we can do this thing, fire his hand. Unleash electricity to stun the enemy. So now his ultimate is range, which is nice. We'll go ahead and do that. And we'll kind of not worry about him for the next turn. I think that probably means he skips a turn. All right, what does this do? Oh yeah, the rocket in a line. We could also just grab this thing, which I think is what we'll do. Uh, that seems to be a lower range. I think I'll go this way, to be honest. Why can't I hit that guy? I guess he's... Why 
Well, okay. That's, un yeah, good. We can undo the move, which is fantastic. So, I think I'll move there then. Nope. I guess we can go there. Not too bad. Aha, yes. All right, we can't really get to this guy, but I think I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, these things are melee range, so We'll just wait. The nice thing is you can wait until you actually need the move if you are unsure. Now I wonder, do we, can we repair if we go in here at this point? Or is the whole thing the enemies because we started outside of it? Well, that didn't really work. I thought he was supposed to be unable to attack while he's there. Okay. Oh, we can upgrade Lower's cooldown. That's good to know. You're gonna take out that guy. This is gonna be a little tricky, I think. Oh, come on. Gained a level, so... That's good, we can take the other skill for him that gives us more health. There we go. You see the blue line is basically when you're gonna take a new turn. And in this case, uh, how much does he, he has a 30 HP. I think I can kill him with a normal attack. No! So they can steal those things too. I better do that. So I don't die. What happened to the Rolly dude? So hopefully this will kill him now. Excellent. See, I, I don't think that's supposed to work like that. Try to draw him over here. Then we can use my ultimate ability. Okay. Aha! That seemed really close. So that's basically how the gameplay works. Uh, let's go over here. Seems to be sort of a persistent uh, set of guys, so like a consistent progression here. 
So let's go to the lab and I'll show you what's going on. So basically, we've got all these parts that we can get. We got from those little cubes, remember, that we picked up from the battle? And they allow us to build new robots. So these guys here, we don't have yet. The thing is, we have the blueprints, but we don't actually know how much of each thing it needs. Uh, so what you do is the ones that are lit up are part of the, are going to make something, basically. Uh, and then you have to, like, see if you have enough to do it. And in this case, two spheres and whatever this thing is, a capsule and a cable, will give us Armstrong. And you'll pick up more blueprints as you go. I got that. I think it was from the tutorial. But this is a whole new bot. Unfortunately, I wish it would have shown me the tooltip there. That would be nice to see. Um, yeah, so we've got Armstrong. Attacks using big, strong fists. And a boxer. It's no particular drawback. It's a powerful front line unit with a decent defense. I mean, probably doesn't have any ranged abilities. Probably the drawback. And it appears as though we do not have uh, what we need for the anti-bot. Okay, so go over here to units, and that shows us what we have. Uh, so this is a little bit more detailed. Does it, you know, if you click it now, okay, it's not a tooltip. You click it, it shows you more stuff. Uh, yeah, so dual claw is a w water steel ability. It allows them to stay longer in the battlefield. Oh, yeah, the lore of this is it's sort of a post-apocalyptic thing, and people are living on uh, little islands, uh, basically because global warming has melted the ice caps and all that. Um, and since there's so much water and not a lot of other resources, the robots basically are powered by water. Uh, Armstrong. Oh, yeah, we can rotate him around and check him out. Uh, power Fist throws a powerful punch, deal damage, and stun. That's good. Throws a fist to an enemy from afar. Okay, it does have a ranged attack. 1,000 kilograms. Throws a 1,000 kilogram punch, dealing damage, knocking back the victim. Any victim behind will also take damage and be knocked back until there are no more victims. The damage weakens after each impact. So that's sort of like a caper jack from a uh, massive chalice. Uh, we also have chips. Uh, there, none of them are currently in use, but you can see here we've got these chips, and the, they're sort of like uh, they are like Tetris. What are the, what's I can't even remember the words for that. There's a very specific word for the Tetris pieces, but they come in sort of all different Tetris sizes, and you have to fit them into the block here. And it looks like our gold we can use to unlock more spaces for each bot. Now, we don't have any chips for Mr. Armstrong there, so we'll have to make do without it. Uh, yeah, I think it's wanting me to continue along this path. Uh, can I bring all of them? Let's do that then. So let's try it again. It Maybe this will be a bit better now that we have uh, another frontline fella. I got two of the rolly dudes. Uh, send you. Looks like we got some choke points, really. Uh, if we can get one of our ranged guys up top, that will be good. I don't think this guy has any actual ability to fly up. Uh, I don't want to put you in harm's way, so I'm just going to move you here for now. I think that was my mistake last time, is move him a little too aggressively forward. Ah, but they still managed to get over there. Yikes. All right, well, clearly, this is going to be the way to go. Hilt stealing thing. 
All right, and uh, Armstrong. What should we do? Flying fist. Stun an enemy. When when are they coming around next? They are they are gonna move next, so I think I'm gonna stun this guy. Well, I guess might have been able to kill him. Okay, I think we can probably nope, hang on. Uh What is the range on this thing? So, if we moved here, I think we could do that. Yes. <laughs> Right. How do you like that? Now I'm gonna get these fellas, and in fact go there. Should get all three. Fantastic. All right. I think this is working pretty well, thanks to our wonderful choke point. Uh, let's see if he goes for that guy. Yep, that's what I was... Nope, nope, okay. All right, the cannon fairly weak, you know. Uh, get a slight accuracy boost from high ground. Uh, let's send you here, just so you're out of the way. But I, yeah, I, th I thought you were gonna kill him, and you did. Uh, dual claw, you can't get through, unfortunately. So we'll wait. Might as well stun this fella. Oh, they're coming from behind! Alright. Let's try and move the range guys over on this up here. That way, they will be pretty darn safe. And Dual Claw, you're in great shape, so you're gonna try to get them to attack you. And why don't you make a nice, a nice little front line here? Whoa! Ah, nuts! Okay, well. I'm going to do a double. I think this might kill him. Alright, he's very far away. Yeah, we can't get him. So let's see if we can go into a line. I think that should work. Yes. Ha ha ha. Big ball. Is that a larger range? No, it's the same. Uh, go into overdrive. Yes, that's that's perfect. Ho ho ho! Yes. Ooh, what is that? I don't know. I don't know that I've seen that part before. Perhaps it will give me what I need. Nope. We don't need that. But maybe we have enough of this now. No, I think we're still missing something. Yep. I don't think we got any chips that last battle either. Already. Well, you know, the episode is getting kind of long, but this is quite an enjoyable uh, tactical experience. I haven't even started the campaign yet and still feel like we're getting, uh, getting into it. So yeah, check it out. It's out today, uh, the day I released this video. 
Uh, and if you like tactics, this is a pretty good one. Uh, and I don't know, it takes out some of the, I guess, the uh, distractions from a lot of, you know, it, may, it just makes it pure tactical uh, gameplay. So, uh, and if you like robots, if you like battle bots, this is sort of a, a love letter to that. So, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.